uh, Tea with Ashley. Oh, that's me. Okay. Hey, welcome back to the Tea with Ashley. I'm Rose Ashley. Now let's get into it. So today's video is going to be a car tour on my new car. Okay. So as you can tell, this right here is my car, and I'm gonna give you like um the whole like overview of. Okay. So this is what it looks like from the front. I decided that I was going to make her a girl, and that her name was gonna be Sherilyn. Oh my goodness. Some some in those bushes. Okay. But, uh, this is the back. Um, I guess y'all can see the license plate because it's not really like the actual license plate yet. But okay, yeah. So this is the overview of her. And now let's get into the end. Okay, so now I'm actually inside, as you can tell. And um, I'm just going to go over like the few things. Well, I guess I'll, I'll show you guys like the, what the inside. Okay, so this is, of course, the steering wheel and then the inside. I never did a car tour before, so I don't really know if I'm doing it right. Um, and then this is the back seat. Um, the interior is gray, as you can tell. Here we got cup holders back here in this thing so people can um you know okay so i'm going to um get started with like telling you everything about it so it's not a brand new car it's a 2017 hyundai elantra and as you can tell it's red um some cool things about it is it doesn't have um like an actual key like it's a push button start so it's just like this key i mean you have to put your foot on the brake and then start the car um some also cool things about it is i forgot my like charger inside but um it does apple play like apple car play so i can get messages and like phone calls and then if i like press if i press this button then i'll be able to like tell her to find me the nearest starbucks find me like directions to such 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 and such and i think it's like really cool um this car came with like i think it's three months of serious cyrus whatever radio but i'm not really gonna use it another cool thing about it is it has like this little like hidden department and it has two um what's these things called two car charger ports and then a, one usb port and then one aux cord as y'all know iphone stopped oh i thought my mom just came outside as y'all know um iphone stopped using the headphone jack so it's like kind of obsolete to have an aux cord now uh, another cool thing about it is, um, the same, well, the same thing was on my last car, but this one, um, it also has the, like, okay, as you can tell down here, it has, like, the gas, um, like, lift up button, like, if you press this, or I think you, yeah, you pull it up, I haven't had to put gas, in but car. if you pull it up, then the gas, like, bubble opens up, um, my last car also did that, so, cause, if you haven't noticed or seen on TikTok that um, you can, like, ruin someone's car by putting, like, literal sugar in their tank. And, um, well, now people can't do that because you got to, like, um, well, I have to unlock it in order for them to be able to do that. So that's good. Oh, gosh, it does this really cool feature where if you walk up to it, um, like, okay, let's just say I got out my car, I locked it, went into the store, and had a whole bunch of groceries in my hand. And I couldn't reach my key in order to, like, um, like pop the trunk. Um, when I walk, like, to the back of it, then it will do it by itself. Like, okay, I'm going to just show you because that doesn't Okay, so sense. now I'm going to show you guys. So, like, watch. I'm, like, here. And as you can tell, I'm not pressing anything. See? And then it just opens by itself. And then I can put stuff inside. And I guess now that I'm back here. Oh, my goodness. I just okay i guess now that i'm back here i'll show y'all what the trunk looks like um uh, it's like it's literally just like a regular trunk it has a thing oh wait this is how you pull the back seats down i guess that's good to know um yeah i'm trying to see if it has oh okay so yeah this is if i ever get kidnapped i can pull this i think right yeah i pull this somehow and it will like open up the trunk um that's how you put that back seat down and it came with a spare tire. It's under here. Um, I don't really know how to get to it, but... Oh, I guess I'll pull this. Yeah, and then there's a spare tire with those nub things. Um, I do actually know how to change a tire. 
So there's And that. another thing is birds love to poop on my car. I've literally only had this car for three days and there's a poop spot right mm, I'm there. not actually gonna show y'all it, but yeah, there's a poop spot on my on the rear view window and um yesterday there was a poop spot on my windshield so birds just love to poop on this car but um okay so okay so i went and i got my phone cord so i can show y'all the um apple play thing and i'm gonna go for a drive around my neighborhood because this is also gonna be a come drive with me okay so as you can see um i just plugged in my phone and this is what it looks like as like the stuff and um okay so i'm gonna show you I can press anything without it popping up okay yeah so okay so yeah I can kind of show y'all so basically like this is like my contacts well this is these are only my favorite contacts and then um that's apple music okay oh okay cool so I can show y'all and record what in the world I did not <laughs> I did not click on that um this is my first time using the apple music part oh back I guess um oh wait so i can go through my playlist okay sorry y'all i'm like figuring this out uh, along with y'all um so yeah these are my playlist um wait okay bae i and i don't really know i kind of want to go get lost like and try to like figure it out so yeah i'm just gonna go straight but um okay so <laughs> but okay so when i was in high school i took college classes so I had a college email so I set up Apple Music through that college email but when I graduated it um it asked me to verify my college email and that email got deactivated so I couldn't verify it so then I started charging me regular price and I was like oh no let me just cancel this so I canceled it and then I was like screw it I'll just like not get it back again because I really didn't use it but now that I have this car and it uses Apple Music then um I downloaded it back but basically I just had to oh my gosh see that happens sometimes but it doesn't really happen a lot but um so I just doubt no, that's an ugly angle. I just downloaded it back and um, now I have it again my neighborhood that's what I told my mom I was doing so but our neighborhood is freaking huge so I could be out for a while um, okay another thing about this car is that when I was okay so originally this car was nowhere in my mind like I did not even think about this car like, oh my god okay this is gonna get on my nerves but <laughs> the car that I originally wanted was a Nissan what's it called a Nissan Sentra that was the one that I originally wanted but the okay when we went to go get the car um well really we were going car shopping like we weren't going to this itty bitty road how am i supposed to get through here man oh my gosh i'm about to crash <laughs> the way the car dealerships work in my neighborhood is well not in my neighborhood but the car dealerships near me is there's this long road and all the way up and all the way down the road is um like a whole bunch of different car dealerships like different like price ranges and like normal cars expensive cars like all that kind of stuff so we went all the way down to the furthest one which was actually going to be like a regular honda dealership but my dad was like actually are you sure you don't want to go look at hondas and i was like i mean yeah sure why not and then because i really didn't have like oh this is the exact car that i want and if i don't get this car then i don't want a single car i really just kind of like the way that the nissan centros looked and i don't know where i'm going um i kind of like the way that the nissan centros looked so i was like okay um that's like my goal car but i mean i'm look i'll look at other cars because really at this at that point i really just wanted a car with four wheels that could get me from point a to, this is definitely a cop um to get me to what is he doing okay anyways but um to me what how fast am i going okay i'm only going 20 to get me from point a to point b and that's literally all i wanted all i needed so we went to Hyundai and I told the guy my price range and we went and um, looked at cars that were in my price range and okay I'm gonna turn down here just because oh this is definitely can't turn that way okay <laughs> this guy, I probably think I'm stupid I kind of am I don't know where I'm going but okay so then he went and he showed me three cars 
and two of the three cars did not have a push button start and that's the things that i really wanted in a car was for it to have a push button start <sighs> yes for, was for it to have a push button start and i also wanted it to um have like bluetooth because my last car i had to connect it to like a thing that went into the cigarette lighter and it was just like i mean it worked but if i hit a bump too hard then it would stop like it would stop working um, I'm gonna put it on here. So yeah, if I hit a bump too hard, it would stop working. So that's why I those were really the only two things that I wanted. And out of those three cars, this one that I'm driving in right now is the only one that ended up having um the oh my gosh, this is a roundabout. No, what's this thing called? A cul-de-sac? This is a cul-de-sac. Okay, but, um, so yeah, out of those cars, this was the only one that had the keyless, well, not the keyless, but, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This was the, okay, so out of those three cars, this was the only one that had the push-button start, and that's really, like, the only thing that I wanted. So, I was definitely liking this car, and then the man was like, test drive it, test drive it, and I was like, no, it's okay. In my opinion, all cars drive the same. And so he was like, no, I'll test drive it. And then my mom was like, actually, just test drive it. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay. So then I test drove it. And we went down the bumpiest, y'all, the bumpiest road. I was going, I was like, okay, you know what? You you can have this car back. I don't want this car. And then he was like, no, it's just the road. And I was like, okay, well, how, why would you have me test drive a car down the bumpiest road? I thought it was the car that was making it go like this. But as y'all can tell, this car is driving, like, pretty smooth. So, um, I'm going to go this way. Um, so, yeah. Oh. I definitely just took off. Oh, wait. This is another dead end. As y'all can tell, I don't really go around my neighborhood like that. But, okay. So, test drove the car. And I'll go down this way. And I was like, I mean, okay, it's fine. Like, a car is a car. Like, it's it's whatever. Like, it was nice. And But in reality, the whole entire time that I was test driving it, I was scared to death that I was going to crash it. Because I don't know why, but that's always been, like, my biggest fear. Like, that I was going to go test drive a car and I was going to end up crashing. And, like, I don't know. I am not going down that road. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like... If you crash a car that you're test driving, like, I don't know how that works. So, that's why I was, like, so scared. Like, didn't really want to, like, test drive it because I didn't want to crash. And this is another freaking roundabout. But, um, or not a roundabout. It's called a cul-de-sac. But, so, yeah. So, I wasn't really, like, enjoying, like, cruising around like I am now. I was kind of, like, just driving, like, okay, let me just go. And then another thing was I didn't know where I was going. Oh, little bump but I didn't know where I was going so because I didn't know where I was going that made it also like less enjoyable because I hate I hate driving with other people when I don't know where I'm going and like we can't listen like it was just not enjoyable so oh hi who are you this boy was seven that boy was seven y'all I I am screaming okay but oh, that was funny <laughs> okay so I didn't really like test driving that car but we were talking to the guy and like we were talking about like price and it was a little bit over i liked it and originally i wanted a white car but the red on this car it just like really drew me in and it was just it's like such like a nice red and if you look into it like like if you look it's like like a sparkly red and i really like that about it leaving the hyundai dealership and instead we went to the nissan dealership because like i told my dad that, that I wanted to look at the Sentras and the Versus at like that the Nissan dealership had. So we go to the Nissan dealership and that's where my dad got his car from. My dad has a Nissan Ultima. And sir, what in the world are you doing? My mom hates that Nissan dealership because they're, she says that they're rude, they're scammers, like they do too much. And I was just like, okay, well, I mean, I wanted a Nissan, so I wanted to go look at them. At the Nissan dealership, there's two cars that I liked. One was a 2019 Sentra that was white, and I really liked it, and because um, it was white, and like I really wanted a white car. And then the other one was a 2018 Sentra, and it was red. No, a 2018 Versa, and it was red. And the Sentra, I don't, honestly, I don't really remember. I don't think it had Apple CarPlay, and I know for a fact that it was a push start. And I really wanted a push start car, but, um, 
I was like, it's okay because I like the way that it looks better on the outside. But I'm not driving the outside of the car, I'm driving the inside of the car. So I would still have to like get the Bluetooth like connector piece. So I was kind of upset about that, but I really liked the, the way that the outside looked. Um, but then he gave us some bull crap out the water number on how much the car cost. And I was like, mm, no, it's okay. Like this car is not worth that. And so instead of trying to talk him down, because honestly the guy was rude to begin with, like the way that he approached us, like, I'm going to just take this corner. So wait, how fast are we going? Oh, I'm only doing 24. But, um, yeah, so the way that he approached us was not like, oh, yeah, I'm going to approach them to try to sell them a car and be nice and friendly. He was like, like, I don't know, like, just doing his job. Like, he wasn't trying to do, like, anything extra. But the guy at the Hyundai dealership, he was really nice. He seemed genuine. Like, he was talking to us about, like, his family. Like, and even if he was just doing his job, he was doing his job really well. And so, like, that's why, like, the Hyundai, like, still stuck in my mind because I was, like, I liked, like, that man and, like, his character, if that makes sense. But the freaking Hyundai guy, no, the Nissan guy was so, like, and then he was just rude to my parents for being, like, aggressive back. And then they ended up getting the manager because we were, like, okay, that's fine. We're just going to leave because he was, I don't know, he just wasn't being nice. How fast am I going? Oh, I'm doing exactly 45. Wow, I'm getting good at this. Um, if you guys can't tell, my phone is covering my speed, my speedometer, so I don't really know how fast I'm going. But, um, so yeah, we ended up leaving the, um, Nissan place, and as we were leaving, the people literally ran out behind us, like, chased us behind us into our car. They're like, what if you lease the car instead? And my mom had already leased a car from there. And she says that leasing a car is the dumbest thing ever because you pay all that money for the car. You basically pay for the car, but you don't get to keep it, which is the dumbest thing ever. Like, why are you going to pay for something that you don't get to keep? But um, so we were like, yeah, no, we're not leasing the car. And then we get home and they call us. The Nissan place calls us and they're like, I don't know what the speed limit is. There's no speed limit sign, so I'm just going to cruise. The, the Nissan people call us and they give us like a really good price on the car but it was like why did you have to wait until we left and we like we drove all the way home before y'all called us to give us a reasonable price so then we were like no screw it we're just gonna go to Hyundai like guy because he was nice from the jump he gave us a reasonable price from the jump and it was just like it was just better so I just we went with him and another thing, I didn't realize, like, everything that this car has. Like, this car has, oh, another thing. This car has a backup camera, heated seats, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, a push-button start, um, that trunk thing that I showed y'all before. Oh, gas, gas. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This, my last car, my last car did 13.6 miles a gallon, y'all. 13.6. This car does 30 miles city and 40 miles highway so y'all i'm be cruising all around and not have to fill up my car at all like a matter of fact i drove two hours i think it was no it's like maybe like an hour and 30 minutes total because i went to my aunt's house and back and it literally barely moved away from full and i was like big bets like this car is really it but if i would have done that in my other car it would have I would have I would have been on empty y'all like my car literally my old car literally took like it just sucked on gas but so yeah oh and then on top of that my other car it freaking did um it took the middle gas like this car takes regular gas which is so good because regular gas now is like 130 so that's why that's another reason why I'm like just driving around because gas is cheap so it doesn't matter um so yeah that's that um I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to tell y'all about this car um and yeah so i guess that's it thank you so much for watching another episode of the tea with ashley i hope you enjoyed it and remember stay hot